Hi, welcome to Crate Model Row. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to share a haul video with you guys. But before I get into this video, I thought I would mention for those of you who have been following me for a little while, you know I'm in the middle of home renovation. So I'm coming to you out of my bedroom. <laughs> Only room in the house that's not a total disaster right now. Um, and this room will be getting redone too. I know I did a, a little makeover on it like under a, for a budget makeover last year, but I'm going to be doing some painting and stuff in here eventually. <laughs> um, for those of you who may not follow me on um, Instagram, that's where I've been posting like daily updates on the renovations. Um, I'm in the process of getting the ceilings done right now, putting the beadboard in the kitchen, dining room, and the living room. So if you don't follow me, I would love for you to come over there and visit me on Instagram and my Facebook page. All of it's under Crate Myrtle Row. And you can see the process on Instagram. If you've missed any, there's a highlight button that shows um, the stories that I've done each day, just showing you the process of each step I've done so far. In the end, I will do a video for YouTube on it. So, you know, if you don't like to be on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you know, and you just want to see it here, you will get to see it here too. So, <laughs> but it's a slow process. My brother's doing it for me and He's a contractor, so he's got other jobs he's working on. And, you know, I told him mine could be filled in in between his other stuff. So, you know, I, I totally understand that. But let's just jump into this haul video. And like I said, I'm in my bedroom, so stuff is sitting on my bed. So I'll be turning my back to you, all kinds of things. So let's start with some faux florals. Now, I love faux florals, especially good quality ones, because, I mean, I love real flowers, don't get me wrong, but in my house, I don't use real plants. I don't really have a room that gets adequate light to do real plants. Um, maybe my living room would, but the only place I could really put them that would get the light is in my bay window. That's behind the couch, so it's more difficult to water. And the rest of the rooms that would I'd have room for them are north-facing rooms. So, And plus, I just don't want to have to remember to water things. <laughs> you know, it's, it's enough of a chore doing outside plants, you know, so I don't want to have to do inside. So if I can find faux florals that look realistic, I'd definitely get them. And this basket here was one of those and it is $6.99. And I mean, you got the faux hosta, the caladiums, the little spider plant, your ivy. I mean, there's just all kind of stuff in here. And I've cleaned it up already one time. It was extremely dusty. And I, I bought this cleaner, it's called Silk Plant Cleaner. I bought it at Walmart and it did okay. I'm not going to recommend you go out and buy it because I think just using um, soapy water in a spray bottle would do the same effect because I ended up, it claims that you can just spray it on and you don't have to wipe anything or rinse anything off and it just gets rid of the dirt. It does not do that. I sprayed it on. Couldn't really tell a whole lot of difference. I sprayed it on the second time and then I took, uh, I took it outside with the hose on the shower um, nozzle and rinsed it off and that did better. But like I said, if I'm gonna do that, I think just regular soapy water in a spray bottle, sprayed on and then hosed off would do the same effect. Or if they're smaller, you can just fill your sink up with um, some dish soap or whatever and just, you know, like swish them around inside the sink and then lay them to dry. Most plants, now if it's got like a coating a fuzzy coating, you know, you might not want to do it. You might have to sit there and wipe each individual leaf. But I like this. Whether or not I leave it like in this container, I don't know. I may take this out and use in other areas. You know, just take the plants out and use them differently. But I just thought, you know, those are good quality plants. And for that price, I couldn't beat it. So the next one is this faux geranium. And it was $4.99. And I love the, the vase. I'm probably going to do a little bit of a more distressing to it. Maybe add some, I don't know if I want to add some gold color to it or whatever. But I love the faux geraniums. And I have several of them that are the very realistic like this. 
Last year, I just lined them across my bay window and my daughter thought they were real plants. She said they looked real to her. And I mean, that's the perfect thing. You know, when, when everybody else thinks they're real, that's perfect. And I can even use these on my front porch because it's shaded and it's more difficult to get up in there and water things without messing everything up. So I could, you know, put these up in the corner and from the road, no one's going to know, even up close, I don't think most people are going to realize unless you're really into plants and know your plants. Because I mean, look, they even got like where some of the buds aren't open and stuff like a real one would do. So that was another one I got. And then this last one, I mainly brought this for the vase, but it's, I love the colors, the blue, greens, browns colors, but I love this vase because it's like a crackle old finish. And on the bottom here, let's see if I can spin it around. Originally, someone had wanted $199.98 for this. And as you can see, I paid $15.99. For it but I mean it needs some work some of the um, plants are coming out you know it just it needs a little bit of sprucing up and like I said I don't know that I'll keep it in this arrangement or these flowers in here I mainly wanted that old crackled vase look but I love that sit that over there okay let's go to purses next um, Y'all know I love my vintage purses. So here is one of the straw purses. I have two others that are shaped like this, but different colors. I have one that's more of a red, white, and blue, and one that's um, more of the white or the cream raffita with seashells on it. But I just love that one. And I think it was, let's see here, $3. That's what I paid for that one. And then this next one, I paid $4.99, and it's not a vintage purse, but I just love the shape of it. It's just a little boxy little shape, and I love, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my obsession with purses before, I love vintage purses, and I, I like to carry them on Sundays going to church. I don't carry, you know, my vintage things as an everyday purse because, you know, they would get torn up and all that, but going to church, you know, I just, I like dressing up for church, and I like changing my my purse each Sunday to carry a different one. And this one, although it's not vintage, like I said, it's just a little classic little box leather one. And I just thought it was cute. Now this one I might could, if I wanted to carry it as an everyday, I could. I probably wouldn't because my everyday purse has to have kind of like two requirements for me. One, it needs an outside pocket that's easily accessible, which I mean, technically I could unzip this and it would be because I want my phone to be in there. I don't want to have to dig, you know, opening up a purse, digging through, finding a phone. And the secondly, I, I tend to like smaller um, purses that I can make it into a crossbody. Um, just, just something that's good and sturdy and doesn't, I don't want big purses. I don't like big purses because <laughs> The more room you have, the more junk you're going to put in them. And I, you know, I have enough trouble with my shoulder trying to carry purses anyhow. So, but anyhow, that was one. Now the next one, I purchased this off of eBay. This is like my holy grail of vintage purses. I have been wanting a pink. I have a small pink beaded, something like this, but it's very small. I have been wanting a, you know, mid-size beaded person oh my gosh y'all i just love it it's so so precious <laughs> love this purse i would love to find my my next like on my list of things and i i, I constantly look on ebay and etsy and stuff for them for a decent price is maybe a mint green or a jade green one i have a baby blue color in a small clutch size but I would love to have that because I have lots of straw purses. I have lots of white wicker, but um, just the actual colored ones, um, I'm wanting to work on that part of my collection. And I think I paid $35 for this. So it's not, it's not a thrift store price, but you know, when you like something, you like it. And I would pay way more than $35 for a normal purse. 
and I will get a lot of use out of this one. So just loved it. Okay, next is, I'm going to take these. This came with some faux florals in it, but you know, they're, they're just cheap stuff. I'm not going to keep in there. I just take them out. But y'all know I love my strawberries. And then this was $3.99. And I just love, I don't know if you can see on camera. You can on the bottom. Kind of crackle finish. But I just love that. I think it's so pretty. And I, I might put some faux strawberry arrangement in it instead of, I mean, they had, I don't even know. If someone at the Goodwill just stuck these in there, I mean, it, they were okay with it, but... Not what I'm going to keep in it. Okay, next, these two items. I was out thrifting with my friend Kim from My Feathered Nest. We had a girl's day out. And I know she thought I was crazy, but I just fell in love with these birds. <laughs> these little, I guess they were supposed to be peacocks or something. I don't know. I just, they kind of that vintage mid-modern our, our mid-century modern kind of look sort of <laughs> and someone's painted them because I think they're with gold and they've painted them so I think I'm going to distress them a little more to because this paint scratches off very easily and bring out more of that gold but I just love these guys I don't know why I just do and they were $2.99 a piece but, and they would go in my living room or when I redo this room which I'll use I don't know if you can see way over there in the corner um, I do use this color in here and just so you know I know these walls look like school bus yellow probably on on film but they're not they're more of a creamy buttery yellow in person it's just the camera does weird things with this this ring <laughs> um, okay where to go next okay. these plates I got three of these and they're all the same and they were $1.99 for all three of them. And I just love these little style plates. And you can, you know, as you can see, I love plate walls. <laughs> Any kind of plates, I use those as decor. And, you know, this is kind of a cottagey feel. That's what I'm going to go with more in this room. Um, I kind of was doing more of the, I guess, the southern cottage traditional look in here with my kind of a Charleston look, I guess you could say. But that's going to change. Like I said, this room, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to paint it. Probably somewhere in the blue-green or, or blue-gray shades, most likely. Don't know yet. Who knows? I might like the white walls that I'm going to do in my dining room so much that I put them in here. We shall see. Then these plates, $4.99 for the set of six. And I just thought those would be really cute to do a tablescape for the summer with a beach theme and all. I just thought those were adorable. And then I love odd little bottles and especially like the blue. And these were like a dollar piece and I have three of these. But I just love the cobalt blue, that shade of blue. And this is actually a vintage Milk of Magnesia bottle in the blue. But I have the blue and white dishes that I do. Um, in my dining room sometimes so that would look good sitting around on the hutch and all maybe with some flowers in it or whatever but it will go with those dishes all right next is one of these corn bowls love this thing and it was $4.99 um, I used to have one that was shaped like a baked potato and I think years ago I might have Gave it to Goodwill. I don't remember. Sold it in the yard sale. I don't remember. You know how you, you do that and then you regret it years later when you're thinking you would really like it. But I thought this would be pretty in the middle of a tablescape in the summer. You know, doing like a um, summer themed vegetables and stuff or in the um, fall especially. But you could actually use it. And I used to would do that. I have a cabbage bowl and at Thanksgiving I would put um, the slaw in the cabbage container like this and then that potato one I would put the mashed potatoes in the potato thing <laughs> so who knows might use this for actually corn in it to serve in a, a family dinner all right um 
Another strawberry piece I have is this little vintage, it's a toothpick holder, but I just thought that was so sweet. Love that. And I have um, the, the old wooden Coca-Cola crates that, you know, have the little individual squares and stuff like this fit in there perfectly. So that's why I wanted that. Another strawberry item. And it was $3. Did I tell you that one? I already took the sticker off, but it was 99 cents. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this was $3, just like a little jar or crock type thing. But it had strawberries, so you know why I had to get that. <laughs> and then I will move to some linens. This is a huge tablecloth. I mean, it's probably like the 72 long, but I forget what the width of those are. But it is it is huge. <laughs> And I loved it. And then I didn't get to decorate for Valentine's Day this year. The only room I do it in is my dining room. So next year, hopefully, I can use this. And if I don't want to use it as tablecloth, you know, it would make great um, pillows or whatever, you know, that I wanted to use it for. So I've got that. And then I found this little bag of vintage ribbon. It was, um, there's two six yard pieces and it was 250 but i thought these were just really cool to do some kind of craft with with those there and then there's a santa claus kit that one's the one that mainly caught my eye i thought he was really cool and i love doing crafts and stuff so i will find a use for this and speaking of that there was this bag it was 250 and it's just a various you know, lace you can always use if you do crafting or whatever, you can do that. And this kind of lace would be good. Like, I'm tall, so I'm long-waisted, and a lot of shirts are not long enough for me. And I love the looks of the lace kind of under the shirts. Um, but to buy those sometimes is very expensive made that way, or even the camisoles can be kind of expensive. And still, they're usually not long enough for me. So I could actually make something of my own with this lace under if i have a particular shirt that i want it on i could add it myself or something but you know for 250 i will find something to do with it and then next and i paid 2.99 for this is this enamel wear and it's a planner so this little piece comes out so you know you can put it in there to kind of Keep your, um, the roots from rotting if you were watering stuff. I'd probably add rocks in there, there too if I were going to actually plant it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I, I know for sure my biggest idea is to paint this edge in a green because that my Hoosier cabinet is this color with a green trim. So I think I'm going to do that and use it in my kitchen for some type of storage. Who knows? But I mean... $2.99 and I love that. And it's a good heavy, you know, it's not flimsy metal, it's heavy. Next, I got these Valentine's string lights and they were $1.99 and I got four sets of them. And again, they were going, I usually do a tree with Valentine's on it. And then I have, if y'all know me, at Christmas, I love gingerbread stuff. So I found this and it was $2.99. The little hugging. They're not kissing. I love kissing figurines, but these were close. They were hugging, and I just thought they were so cute. Gingerbread, plus they have the little chef's hats, so perfect for my kitchen. And let's see what else. Okay, another kitchen item would be this enamel or splatterware enamel roasting pan, and it was $5.99. I just love this color. Just to sit up above my kitchen cabinets just for added country decor. And next, we have this blue and white base. It was $9.99 for that. And if y'all know me, you know I love the blue and white um, pattern stuff. Any The pottery, the dishes, everything. I love it. And then I have a few books that I picked up. One of them is this... Um, the Neely's cookbook. They had a cooking show, and I don't know if it was on um, the Cooking Network or whatever that's called, or HGTV. I don't remember, but I loved watching this couple 
cook. I think they're up in Nashville and they have their own restaurant and the, the barbecue and stuff. But I mean, it's just, I don't know if there's many pictures. I mean, there's some pictures in here, but they, they are really fun to watch on their show. I mean, they, they get along really good and they just, they, they pick at each other and stuff, but they're both excellent cooks. And I loved watching that show. I'll have to check and see if it's on any of the streaming networks that I can still watch it. But I love them. And um, so I got that. The next one was just vintage clothing. And it's just like a... I love vintage style clothes. And I just... This was neat. I mean, it was a dollar. So, I mean, you can't beat that. Just to, to sit and look at for entertainment. Love that. And then the next one, and the first book was $2. I think it was because it's a hardback. And the next one was this big book of plants. And it was, I think, $2. But it's just, you know, all kinds of encyclopedia of plants. And I just really, especially this time of year, I love sitting down with my gardening books and magazines and just looking over them and dreaming of spring and summer um, florals. Now, one other thing I didn't show you in the floral department, and it's huge. Let me pick it up. And it was in the faux florals. It's this huge hydrangea bush. And it was, um, I think, I think it was $10. This thing is huge. And I love it. It's very realistic looking like that. And it just fills in a good corner in my living room. Like a little bit of a dead space, so that's where it's going to use. Or I don't know, maybe there's this little corner here in my bedroom. I might put it in. I don't know. But that's it for today. Like I said, um, I will be posting the home renovations as they get done. So y'all just stay tuned for those. I do um, plan on trying to do the haul videos in between stuff because who knows how long it's going to take me to get all of this done. Hopefully, my um, Ceilings will get finished by the end of this week or the latest next week. And then, of course, painting will start in those rooms. I'm going to redo my kitchen, I mean, my bathroom and this bedroom. And my laundry room is going to get a um, fresh coat of paint. So all of that's coming up in future videos along with um, haul videos. And then as spring gets on, I will... This year, I think I'm actually going to go back to gardening outside with flower gardens. Last year, I took the year off. I was just, I was having a lot of trouble with um, my shoulder from overuse and stuff. And just the watering of everything just was overwhelming. And I just decided last year, I didn't want to do it. I have a lot of um, perennial stuff that comes up on its own. So it looked fine. But I love those annuals too. I've got you know, hanging baskets and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that. So just stay tuned for everything. So if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family and um, then hit the notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. And like I mentioned earlier, come on over to Instagram and um, Facebook and look for me there, Crate Myrtle Row, and join me there. And I am on Pinterest also under Crate Myrtle Row, if y'all are interested. Pinterest, I mean, I have hundreds of boards on there. I pin things that um, that pique my interest or I want to go back to to inspire me. I have some boards that I that I use to, to remember where a product was, you know, that I wanted to buy. You know, I pin it there so I, I can go back and find it easily and all. But, I mean... You might can find some inspiration off of um, my Pinterest boards also. But until next time, y'all have a very blessed day. Bye.